Now that you know the importance of modal analysis, let's start to move on to how to find the natural frequencies and mode shapes of a structure. As discussed in the previous lesson, modal analysis is one of the linear dynamic analyses and is common and fundamental to other linear dynamic analyses. For solving a dynamic response of a structure, our basis is always the general equation of motion, where the unknowns are the acceleration, velocity, displacement, for all points over the structure. Since natural frequencies and associated mode shapes are a structure's property, and they are independent of any loads, let's go ahead and make the right side of the equation, the loads, to be zero. For general modal analysis, we do not typically need to include the effects of damping in the solution of the problem, so we will remove the damping term. Now with these conditions, what we are solving for is a free and undamped vibration system. Looking at the equation of motion in this modified form, and if we view it as a time domain dynamics problem, it basically describes a structure sitting somewhere without any motion or with constant velocity, which is essentially zero acceleration. In the time domain, it's not all that meaningful to solve it with zero loading. However, if we change our perspective and treat it as a frequency domain problem, we will find very interesting and meaningful results. So how do we treat it as a frequency domain problem? Let's assume that every point in the structure is experiencing harmonic motion. Now, what does harmonic motion look like? Here are some everyday examples from the inside workings of a mechanical watch to say the pendulum on a clock, the swinging of a child, or the vibration of a string on a musical instrument, or to even a more complex example of a seed separator. A common example that is usually used in mechanics is the oscillation of a spring mass system. Its motion is also periodic and can be described by the frequency, the amplitude, and the phase angle. So let's imagine every material point of a structure is a spring mass system and that each of these points is vibrating at the same frequency but with different amplitudes or magnitude of the deformation and phase angle, which we can think of as the relative timing of the vibration. Now if two points are moving synchronized in the same direction, then we can say they are in phase. But if two points are not moving together, we can say they are out of phase, and the degree to which they are in phase or out of phase is governed by the phase angle theta. Now that we have the governing equation of motion introduced and this fundamental understanding of harmonic motion, we'll explore the solution to this equation in our next lesson.